queda en el uso de la palabra el señor presidente de Guatemala como Since the start of this year more than 150,000 Guatemalans, Hondurans and Salvadorans have left their homes and made the often dangerous journey to the southern border of the United States and sought to enter our nation illegally. While many claim asylum, few are fleeing persecution. Among this flood of illegal migrants are human traffickers and violent gang members like MS-13, but most are making the journey seeking economic opportunity driven by the misguided belief that they can ignore the laws of the United States and enter our nation without consequences. I say with great respect to the presidents gathered here, this exodus must end. It is a threat to the security of the United States. Respect your leadership and respect your countries. Our nations needs your nations to do more. Last week, President Hernandez and I met in Washington, D.C., where we agreed to take new steps to strengthen our security partnership. And today, we all discuss specific new steps that Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador can take with American support to end this crisis at our southern border. Tell your people that coming to the United States illegally will only result in a hard journey and a harder life. As we discussed today, the presidents gathered here and your administrations can communicate to your people with more credibility than any other voices about the need to turn aside from those who would promise to bring them to our border for illegal entry.